The day started with our first internal survivor incident. I saw Stuart push Caroline from the balcony while Ewan and Sam watched. By the time I got to her, she was dead. I would need to keep those three close, direct their bloodlust away from the group. Getting back to work, I installed more AIM collectors to meet the needs of our growing community. Construction done, I grabbed the sledgehammer for the gun store. Our base had come such a long way, it would be a shame if someone tried to take it from us. Hurrying over I was shocked to see a huge group of survivors gathered at the gates. Determining Mary was likely their leader I rushed over to speak. Only once she introduced me to her group did I grasp how large it really was. After much talking, they all decided to join our community in exchange for some of the weapons inside. Deal struck, I began the demolition. They were ours. All ours. And no one could stop us. Taking the last shotgun, we had enough guns and ammo to rain justice on every corner of West Point. God bless America. The celebrations back at base went late into the night as we unloaded the weapons. Mary and her crew would need to be assigned roles, but that conversation could wait for tomorrow. For tonight, I had an army.